25 answers to hard questions you never asked. I'm Danger Dolan from Planet Dolan and today I'm guest starring for List 25. Number 25, could someone do an actual bullet catch? Although this is famously done in magic tricks, it is theoretically possible, especially if you were significantly higher than the shooter, like in elevation, and you caught the bullet at the apex of its journey. Number 24, what is the farthest any man-made object has traveled? Using the sun as a frame of reference, this would likely be the earliest human tools, the first man-made objects. Made over 2 million years ago, they have traveled nearly 250 light years because the earth is orbiting the sun. Number 23. What if the Atlantic Ocean disappeared and the Titanic fell instead of sank? How long would it take to reach the bottom? Well, this is an easy answer. It's 30 seconds. Number 22. Would the energy expended to build the pyramids be enough to get to the moon? Well, no. The fuel in a Saturn V rocket contains enough energy to stack about 20 pyramids on top of each other. Number 21. Could wind cause raindrops to break your windshield? It might sound like it if you've ever driven through hard rain, but assuming average size raindrops, they would have to be traveling at about the speed of sound to break your windshield. Luckily neither of them nor you are anywhere near that speed. Number 20. What if all the oceans disappeared? This will eventually happen as the sun gets hotter, but to make a long story short, Earth would turn into Venus. Number 19. Would it be possible to start a fire using a magnifying glass and moonlight? No you couldn't. The short answer is that you can't use a magnifying glass to make something hotter than the source. The sun is really hot, and that is why you can use it to start the fire. The moon just isn't hot enough. In more scientific terms, the rays emitted by the moon just don't have enough energy. Number 18. What is the largest natural vertical drop on Earth? This is Mount Thor in Canada. Number 17. What would happen if your car could travel at the speed of sound? If it didn't have the airfoils that Formula One vehicles are known for, it would take off. That's right, your sedan generates lift. Since it didn't have any weight of steering once airborne, you would most likely tumble a bit in the air and crash. Number 16. What if you dumped all of Earth's water on Mars? Since Mars is smaller, it would almost be completely covered in ocean, much deeper than on Earth. There would be a few islands, however. One of them would be Olympus Mons, the tallest mountain in the solar system. And just to give you an idea of how big it is, even with Mars covered in all that water, it would still rise 10 kilometers above sea level. Number 15. What would it be like to stand on the surface of Jupiter? This is a hard question. The problem is that Jupiter most likely doesn't have a solid demarcation between its gaseous outer layers and its solid molten core. The immense pressure just keeps building until the gases become extremely compressed, like supercritical levels. This eventually gives way to a layer of metallic hydrogen sitting above the molten core. Number 14. What if a day was only a second long? This means it would only take Earth one second to turn on its axis. It also means that at the equator you'd be moving at about one tenth the speed of light. Put simply, the Earth would pull itself apart. Number 13. What would 500 miles per hour of wind look like? Oh, let's just say it would tear up the pavement pretty hard. Number 12. When will Facebook have more dead profiles than living ones? Depends on how popular Facebook continues to be and how many more new users it gets. It could be anywhere from the middle of this century to the middle of the next one. Number 11. If you kept digging, what would happen? Well, depending on what sort of tools you have, such as breathing apparatuses and so forth, and where you're digging, the temperature would be lethal after a few kilometers. Number 10. Who was the most isolated person in history? Besides the obvious island exile scenario, this distinction would likely fall to the Apollo astronauts, specifically the ones that stayed behind on the command module while their mates went to the surface. This command module ended up going around on the far side of the moon, where all contact with both the Earth and the astronauts' bodies was lost. Number 9. What would happen if the moon was a black hole? If the moon collapsed into a black hole, it would have the same mass, but it would just be smaller than a grain of sand. So you just wouldn't see it anymore. Its gravitational effects would, by and large, remain unchanged. Number 8. What if you could throw or shoot something at just under the speed of light? Long story short, you would cause a nuclear explosion. The object would be traveling so fast that it would destroy even the air molecules with which it collides. 
Number seven, what if kids did not stop growing? Apart from all the health issues, like bones not being able to support us, heart not being able to pump blood and all that, they would reach nearly 12 meters by the age of 20. Number six, how long could humanity survive on cannibalism? People have actually tried to calculate this, as grim as it sounds, assuming that half of humanity would eat the other half every time they go hungry, a little less than two years. Number five, when did the sun finally set on the British Empire? It still hasn't. The United Kingdom is still in possession of so many random islands around the world, like 14 territories, that it's always sunny somewhere in the kingdom. Number four, where does space start? Officially at 100 kilometers, this is known as the Kármán line, and at higher elevations you would need to achieve escape velocity in order to maintain lift. Number three, if everyone on Earth jumped at once, would the Earth's orbit be affected? Well, no, even if we were all in one spot, the Earth is simply too massive, we wouldn't budget. Number two, what would it be like to swim on the moon? Underwater, not much would change. Above water, everything would change. To make a long story short, you'd be able to propel yourself into the air like a whale. Also, according to some research, you may be able to run on the surface. Number one, what is the farthest from Earth that anyone has ever died? The three Soviet cosmonauts on Soyuz 11 died at a height of 167 kilometers. We want to thank our friends on Planet Dolan for collaborating with us on this video. To check out our video on their channel, click here. And to check out the channel itself, click here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on social media. And as always, stay curious.